Okay. So it's good that things arrive, but not always do they arrive how you intend them to arrive or want them to arrive. And so when things go awry, it's good to have communities and people. I ordered a, a new to me lens. Uh, and interestingly enough, a neighbor uh, around the church area texted me and said, hey, Joseph, are you missing a package? And I was like, yeah. It texted me that it was delivered and signed for, and I don't know where it is. It's supposed to be delivered here at the church. Well, it turns out it was delivered um, at the end of their driveway. So I'm not sure if it fell off the truck, got damaged, uh, or somehow otherwise. But uh, the good news is <laughs> the church member uh, brought up the church and texted me that it was safely arrived there. So thanks. Appreciate y'all. You know who you are. Thanks. Mm. So very exciting. Uh, a new to me uh, Canon RF 50 millimeter. This is my first uh, purchase of an RF lens. I've uh, been rocking the 50 millimeter 1.4 here. Uh, this is f 1.8, uh, but there's some real benefits because I won't have to use the adapter on this lens. So I'm kind of excited about that because it allows me to then uh, do some things a little bit differently uh, as far as my workflow and all that. It, uh, but this is a great way to do it. So always nice to order from folks who include all the warranties and details. So maybe you want to do that sometime. Um, this one is from B&H. Uh, this is not sponsored in any way, but I've always appreciated that I'm able to purchase things from them uh, in a way that allows me to, like I said, really to, I guess, appreciate good, uh, gently used equipment. Um, and this is one of those things. So, um, oh yeah. That is so tiny. Uh, this looks like the old Nifty 50, uh, which is a classic 50 millimeter F1.8 uh, that everyone uses on EF glass and all of that. Um, again, a little bit different than the, uh, this is the F1.4. Uh, so if you take all the, all the elements off, again, this thing looks a lot smaller. Uh, not quite the same low light capability at F1.4 that this lens has, uh, but F1.8 and not having to use an adapter uh, could be a real game changer. So let's see how this fits on. Uh, oof, exciting for the tiny little package that this is. And look how small the lens cap is. 43 millimeters. That's uh, super tiny. So it's like Peter McKinnon holding stuff like really tiny with my hands. I can't flip anything or do anything fancy, but you know, give it a shot. Um, so lens adapter, uh, always need that for other glass, uh, but let's just set it off the side for now. And lens cap as well. And so let's see, uh, yeah, how this sort of feels. Looks great. Uh, look how small this is in the hand. And so uh, when you're trying to be unobtrusive or maybe uh, not really draw attention to yourself, uh, sometimes having a little tiny lens uh, is the way to go. It's also my first lens to have um, RF glass. So that mount just looks pretty spectacular uh, to me. So uh, let's take a few pictures with it. Check that autofocus on it. Looking real crisp. Yeah, looks pretty great. Um, so let's try it. You know, go ahead and put it through its paces a little bit here. Uh, <laughs> do uh, just a single exposure like this. Let's check uh, on this one over here. Yeah, this is pretty nice. Good out of focus background blur. That's kind of nice. It sounds great. Yeah. Uh, 50 millimeter is a great uh, lens length uh, for a whole host of things, whether that's uh, full body portraits or environmental portraits. It's really good for, uh, you can get closer in portraits. Uh, some people don't like it. I find it nice. Um, really good for just sort of everyday things. It's pretty close to 35 millimeters, which they say is sort of the equivalency of what your eye sees. Um, and so 50 is a nice, uh, good multi-function uh, range of lens to use. And so I look forward to sharing some images from this uh, and showing you some of the things that it can capture. So uh, maybe so long to the nifty uh, 50 1.4 from Canon and hello to the RF mount, little tiny guys. But again, the weight, uh, it's a lot more weight on these versus a really tiny, small little footprint. Uh, it feels pretty good in the hand. Obviously it's made of plastic, but you know, it's, uh, you know what you're getting when you do that. Uh, now this 51.4 will still have some great uses for uh, EF mount lenses uh, or EF mount cameras like the Blackmagic that I'm using to film this. Um, but this is going to be uh, sort of a nice, easy, everyday carry solution for photo and video. 
Uh, I've got a little screw cap adapter for this to then be able to use my neutral density filters uh, and then be able to rock this thing wherever I am, easily throw it in any bag uh, or carry it around all day. It's not gonna break your back or the bank. That's all for the video today. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, be sure and like the video, subscribe for more R6 uh, content. I uh, really appreciate y'all enjoying uh, some of this channel. Give me some feedback on things you'd like to see or other uh, lenses that you love about the RF mount. Again, this is the most affordable of all of them, so it's a good entry point for me uh, to try it out and see what I think about it, see what I like about it, as well as just enjoy a little bit of something uh, slightly smaller maybe uh, when I'm out and about with the family. Thanks for watching. Uh, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you in the next video. Peace, y'all.